Hello, Magiconic Scholar, Aiko here. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Mumbo for your Forge Minecraft server. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get proxy chat for your Forge Minecraft server using Mumbo. All the information you need will be in the description down below. With that said, let's get started. First, you will need to download Mumbo. I'll leave the download link in the description down below. Make sure to download the newest version of Mumbo for your corresponding window. For me, I have Windows 64, so I'm going to download Windows 64 version. After downloading Mumbo, double click and run. Install Mumbo with the default location. Now you should see Mumbo pop up. For now, just click cancel and connecting server. We will take care of that later. And we're done with step one. If your Mumbo looks different than mine, that's because I have different settings. I'll show you my Mumbo settings. Make sure you're using the correct microphone. I have voice activity. You can change it to continuous, which the mic is always open. Voice activity, if it's over the threshold, it will pick up your voice. If it's below the threshold, it won't. You can also select your push to talk hotkey. Follow this exact settings if you don't know what you're doing. If you do know what you're doing, change it to your liking. Next is going to be audio output. I can have this over on my speaker or I can have this over on my headset. It is the distance between you and other Mumbo user for you to hear them. The maximum distance, if they stand further than what you set the maximum distance, you won't be able to hear them. User interface, I highly, highly recommend you go with Mumbo Dock. This is the best theme for your eyes. Short key, you can add any short key you want. For now, I'm not going to touch that. Networking, you don't want to touch any of this if you don't know what you're doing. Click on plugin and make sure link to game and transmit position is checked. Make sure this option right here is turned on. This link is what allows you to have proximity in Minecraft. Make sure it is enabled. Make sure link to game and transmit position is enabled as well. Make sure those two are enabled. That is very important. And that's the second part for Mumbo setting. How to configure Mumbo. Make sure you click apply and OK. Now you're done with Mumbo. Part three, the third thing you need to do is download Mumbo Link. Mumbo Link is a Curse Forge mod. It's Minecraft plus Mumbo plus the mod Mumbo Link and you have proximity chat. Simply click the link in the description down below and select download. Make sure you download the, the correct version of Minecraft. I'm going to be demonstrating on 1.16 since my Minecraft server is 1.16. Select the location you want to download. Save the file. After you finish downloading it, it should look something like this. Mumbo Link 1.16.5 version 4.6.3. You need to select your Minecraft launcher. You can go with the Luna Client launcher or Badline launcher or Minecraft Vanilla launcher or even Curse Forge. In this example, I'm going to use it on a mod pack for my Minecraft server. You can do this on Hypixel, Hive, or any popular Minecraft server. But for this demonstration, I'm going to use it on my Minecraft server. Simply click onto the mod pack folder, click on the three dot, open folder. So go to the mod pack, whatever mod pack you are running. In this case, I'm running Life in the Village 2. I will go to my mods folder. And this is a Forge mod pack, by the way. So all you need to do is drag and drop the mumbo link into your mod folder for Life in the Village 2. Now close. Step number five is that you have to rent or host your own Mumbo server. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to rent a free Mumbo server, as well as the paid version. Click the link in the description down below. It will take you to guildbit.com. This is going to be your Mumbo server renting service. Once you're on the site, select the location that works best for you. I live in Vietnam, so those three options is very far away from me. There's no good or bad one. So in this case, I'm going to choose San Francisco. I want to rent it for one hour. I don't want to rent it for too long. I just want to rent long enough for this video. And if you want this to be public, leave the password empty. But if you want this to be private, you can generate a password. For this example, I'm going to generate a password. It is going to be a random password. Make sure you copy and paste the password. After you generated the password, you click deploy server. This is going to give you your server port, server IP, password, and connection. Click on this link right here. It will open the Mumbo application with the server IP copied. If you do not have this, you can also do this manually by copying pasting. I'll show that in a second. 
Make sure you have your username. I'll keep my username as Echo to Draco. You can type any username you want and pops up and you cannot verify. You, all you're going to do is to click accept. Just to click yes. Yeah, you will have a little pop-up on your bottom right showing your verification has failed, but you have successfully connected. As you can see right here, when I open up Mumbo, it says I am connected to the server. This is a public server with a password and it's not secure. As you can see right here, the server says I am online and I'm in the lobby. Now I'm going to do the manual instead of automatic. So what you're going to do is click on this little world icon it will show you the Mumbo server to connect. We have public internet server, but what you need is to click on Add New. Once you click Add New, you can copy and paste the address. The address is going to be the first line, copy it and paste. The second line is going to be the port, copy it and paste. And the username, you can label this anything you want. Now click OK. It is going to show you the ping and it's going to show you the user online. Because I already connected, I need to disconnect first. If you want to disconnect, click on server and disconnect. Disconnected from server. Now that I disconnected from the server, I can connect into the server again. It shows me my ping is 174. Now I click on connect. It connected. will connect and it will server ask me for a rejected. password. Wrong password. The password right here, you can see, is right there. You need to tell the password to your friend as well. Copy and paste the password in. Connected. And there you go. You are now connected in manually instead of automatic. Before I move on to the next step, there are a few things I will mention right now. It is a free one, but it's not a secure server for you to connect to. If you find yourself play a lot of proximity chat, then I highly recommend you use a paid version. The Mumble server price can range from $7 all the way to $130, depending on the user slot. If you rent the server from the official Mumble, Dot com website, which I don't recommend because it's way too expensive and you won't get enough bang for your buck. What I recommend instead is to use the Mumbo server provided by Bisec Hosting. They have the package deal of only $2.5 per month compared to the Mumbo price of $7.5 per month, which is significantly cheaper. And if you go for 100 slot, it'll be even cheaper. It just depends on your need. If you find yourself using Mumbo very often and you don't want to constantly get a server timed out every few hours, you want a 24 seven server that is private or public secure, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Now let's move on to step number six. Let's move on to the next step. In order to demonstrate that this is working, I will need to get a friend into a car I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for three point seven. See if it works. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I can't hear you. I cannot hear you. You're like barely audible. I can literally hear you like very quiet. Dude, it works. It works, my friend. It works. I can't hear you all the way from here. Oh, you're coming towards me. I can hear you. Hello and goodbye. I can't hear you anymore. That's good. It's proximity. Yeah, we got proximity, my friend. All right, well, watch this. I'm about to commit Jesus. No, oh, don't come to Jesus. Oh, no. He's hacking. Ban him. I'm the server owner. I'm going to ban him. No. Behead. No. Behead. No. I'm not playing Manhunt with you today. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> hey, proximity chat works. So that's the only thing we're happy about. So you want to do the outro with me? Sure. Hey, Draconic Scholar, this is uh, Eko right here. He had a great time making this video, and I hope he has more time in, well, making more videos, and he has more time to ever do everything else. Oh, that sounds fancy. If I face you, I heard you loud and clear. If this video helps you in any way, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what other video you want me to do next. See, he had a fun time making this, and I, and I had one to two. And I hope you had fun time watching. Now let's move on.